Hi everyone, you all right? Hope you're all having a fabulous Saturday. That's my washing machine and my dishwasher on as usual on a Saturday. Trying to get through my three loads of washing. So, we're going to make today for tea um, a smoked salmon and asparagus. Oh, we're on spin now. Smoked salmon and asparagus tagliatelle. And we're only making it because I've got some smoked salmon that's about to go out of date. It's been in the fridge for over a week. No one's eating it, so... We'll have to do something with that. I'm not throwing it out. Literally, this is all you're going to need. Your smoked salmon, a bit of Parmesan cheese, some double cream, asparagus, a clove of garlic, a lemon and some tagliatelle. Or any kind of pasta you like. It doesn't have to be tagliatelle. So start with your asparagus. I've got 250 gram packet of asparagus. So... This bit at the bottom is no good. So what you do, you snap it like that and it snaps at its breaking point. So this is the good bit and the stalky bit is no good. So I've chopped the asparagus into little pieces, keeping these tips back. I've grated my garlic and there's about a good big handful of Parmesan cheese. These stalky bits that you're getting rid of, you might be tempted to use them, but they're very woody, they're chewy, they'll get stuck in your teeth. It's really not very nice, this woody stalk. A bit of olive oil into a pan. Go in with your chopped bits of asparagus. Soften these for a couple of minutes. Now pop your tips in and your garlic. Give those a minute, don't burn your garlic. Add your double cream, about 300 mils. Go in with the zest of a lemon. Go in with your Parmesan cheese. And just bring that to a simmer. We want that asparagus to be cooked through. A little bit of bite to it. You don't want it soggy though. Tagliatelle is going into some boiling salted water. If you're using dry pasta it's going to take a bit longer but this is fresh it's only going to take two minutes and the sauce is just about done right the pasta's done now add your salmon literally just tear it into your sauce it's already cooked and put some nice big bits in as well and little pieces If you've got a bigger packet of salmon than mine, it's absolutely fine, you'll just get more. A good squeeze of a lemon, not too much though because you don't want it overpoweringly lemony. And I'll try not to get any pips in there. So just the juice of half a lemon. I like a good bit of pepper in there. You don't need any salt, your parmesan's salty. Stir it in. Add your tagliatelle to your sauce. And some of that water in there is good because lemon juice makes cream thicker. So you could do with a bit of the water to loosen it. Mix it all together. Coat all that pasta in that sauce. got a pot of parsley I'm just going to chop a little bit of that over the top I always use scissors I think it's easier I don't want the stalk There it is, all done. This is my favourite part, let's give this a taste. Yes, I'm eating it out of the pan. So before anyone starts twining about us doing that, don't bother, I don't care. I like eating out of the pan. Oh, that's nice. 
there's a lot of flavour in smoked salmon, so you don't need an awful lot. That was just a regular size packet. Oh, but that's nice. And I've double dipped. That's amazing. That is lovely. Really is. That's delicious. I've triple dipped. Give this a go. Just with my leftovers in the fridge, some salmon that was going to end up in the bin because no one was going to eat it. That's amazing. You would be over the moon if you got this in a restaurant. That's being cooked in less time than it takes to boil a bag of pasta. Less time than it takes to cook a bag of pasta. That quick. I'll dish Ian's tea up. This is how I do it. Twist it onto a big spoon. You want two spoons. Put some sauce over. Now don't forget, like and share, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, especially if you're still watching now, recipes following.